I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Before they were pilgrims, before they got on the Mayflower, before God ever dropped Squanto into their lives, they were just ordinary Christians. Before they were pilgrims, they were people who had jobs and opinions and faults, people who disagreed with their government about how the church was being run. What? Oh yeah, you may recall that England split off from the Catholic Church in 1534. Thanks to King Henry VIII, he made himself the supreme head of the Church of England so he could marry Anne Boleyn. That's why, before they were pilgrims, when they went to church somewhere other than an official government-run service, they were fine. That's what the founders were talking about when they said there'd be no establishment of religion. It also explains why the current challenges to prayer at football games and crosses on water towers would make the founders throw a pumpkin pie at somebody. Before they were pilgrims, they were politically active Christians. They tried to get the government to allow religious freedom, but about the only thing they succeeded in doing was getting the king to agree to an English translation of the Bible. Yep, before they were pilgrims, they were part of an activist movement that got King James to translateth the Bible for thou. When you know a little more about who they were before they were pilgrims, then the first Thanksgiving makes a lot more sense. They were ordinary Christians who were willing to speak up for their faith. Regular people who were willing to tell their own government that it needed to change. People who agreed on many things and disagreed on many things, but who agreed that to survive they would have to work together. So when you're talking about turkey and pie and funny hats with buckles, remind everybody who can hear you that before they were the pilgrims, they lived their lives for the glory of God and advancement of the Christian faith, just like you and me.